Hello, it's Lauren from Color the Kitty, doing things a lot differently tonight because um, on this Thursday, November 17th, I'm not so easily available. So I'm doing a pre-recording of my videos to try out this technique. Now let's get to some crafting coloring fun because I'm in the coloring mood. So let me kind of show this picture they're working on. So this part is done. This is my mixed media that I'm trying to fuse into one little more uniform look to it because it so does not look like it, doesn't it? So that's what I've been working on. So I'm just going to do one strike, um, one row down strike. <laughs> I don't know. My words are jumbled tonight. So I've already started it. So we're just going to continue on. I'm going to do some coloring. And of course, this is not going to stay on my easel, is it? Of course not. Why would it? All right, so I got a whole bunch of colors. I'll try to call them out as I go. I was going to quickly put them in order because I realized I do not have them in order on the table. And we're getting there. All right. So this next color is like a purpley, but it's actually more like a orchid kind of color, as I'm calling it. And I'm using this little itty bitty pencil for it. Now my board is sliding again. Okay, I'm going to spend more time fighting with the sheet. I need my other extender, actually. For that pencil. Do I need to sharpen it? This pencil is actually breaking on me, so I'll be glad to see it go. Da, 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 da. Sharpener is the Stadler. Yeah, I forget the name of this color. I'd have to go look it up, but it's been giving me a lot of grief. Which is not good for color the kitty. Alright. And then even my blue in this is almost gone. I'm not even halfway in the picture. Eh, it's on my second blue already. Alright. So I'm just essentially over this mixed media coloring over with colored pencils. I've used paint, paint markers, um, crayons, colored pencils, gel pens um watercolor paint acrylic paint like i've lost track of what i've used um i'm probably forgetting other things i've used like it there's been it's just because it looks so splotchy and random i'm trying to do a top coat with the colored pencils and it gives me a chance to see what reacts well with what too because i honestly have no idea so far i'm finding crayon as the base layer is not a good idea all right and along here, it's a little tiny bit of blue. So that first pencil that was, was crazier, then this blue is Mindware. And then next for green is Mindware again. I got a couple. Yeah, I got like four Mindwares happening on this sheet. I think. I got five. <laughs> Even the purple's Mindware apparently. All right, so there's my green mindware, and I'm just going over top just to kind of work it a little. And that's all, nothing fancy. And just keep rotating, keep going. I'm just doing one row at a time. That way, I can keep track of what I've done and what hasn't been done. Even I can kind of tell by looking at it, but it's still a good guide for well, where am I at in this picture? It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm accidentally picking up more than just paint here and there, but that's okay. And then there's that reddish orchid purple again, which I think is broken. Chip feels a little loose. And back to that blue. If I can get this sheet to stay on the easel. That's the downside of this easel is. It doesn't stick. Stay on very well. Anyway, I love coloring. And this project, I've been having a lot of fun with as a mixed media. And I, and I am looking for a new one. And I'll probably do another one of these sheets again because I have so many of these sheets. But they are seriously so much fun. Alright, next is that reddish color. Orchid, as I'm calling it today. I think it's more like a raspberry, I think, is what they have it. 
And of course, my sheet falls. Come on. It's a little frustrating. I see the downside is easel. But I like to move the paper, so that's part of the problem. And this pencil is not being very helpful for sharpening. So it's almost a goner. Alright, so I'm here. Okay, I'm on camera. Good to know. But yeah, I've been really beating up these pencils in this project. <laughs> it's my specialty. So we're still alternating between like the blue and that orchid color or raspberry and then we have the green. So we're getting there. And in here's a little bit of that blue. And yes, my hands are totally turning color from the blue and the blue paint on this. Okay, so next is pink, and I've got stay pale pink from Rose Art. All right, and I've got. Stadler Ergo Soft yellow here. And then we've got Rose Art Azure for the next color. And then we've got the yellow again. Yeah, I've swapped so many different types of colors. The Mindware orange. Okay. And then the yellow. And we get to see the purple, the Mindware purple. You guys have seen how this looks. But I do think it's cool with the paint layer underneath, even though it's a little hard to work with. Then the yellow. Then the uh, azure. And this hopefully stays up. Then the yellow. Alright, then the purple. Then the azure, which needs a sharpen. Alright, then the blue. If I can get this to stay. <laughs> but you can see on the left side how it looks nicer than the right side. So, I think it's come on quite nicely. Alright, so that was the blue. And then, I would say that reddish color, which needs a sharpen again.
outside the lines, but that's okay. All right, so then it's that blue from here all the way down. But yeah, it's really coming together better, eh? Then the green. Don't mind where. Alright, then the blue. Again, which needs another sharpen. All right, and then the green, and it'll be the blue, and that'll be it. And it's a neat little project. Just, you know, something weird and different, and go mi mixed media on purpose. All right, and there we go. There we go, my friends. So that's the row or strip done. So you can still see so much more to go, but you can see how this looks finished and the rest is yet to come through and I think it's gonna look great. Anyway, everyone, thank you again for watching and feel free to check me out on the weekend. So ideally this video should be posted on Thursday, November 17th. Hopefully everything goes well with posting and we'll go from there. So everyone, if you have any questions please let me know and uh feel free to hashtag replay like share comment follow and subscribe all right bye for now